I've got this 1923 Model T carburetor and um, I cleaned it and adjusted the float inside the ball here and it, uh, when it was turned off the gas was leaking out of it so I'm going to see if this helped stop it and it runs better too. two bolts and a lock washer and a nut to attach the carburetor. This is a hundred year old carburetor. things in the past they were built to last and that's what we have here these wires out of the way and it's a 9 16 so I'll line that up here first nuts of course don't overdo it but you do want them to be solid and tight so it's airtight and do it tight so it's locked in and now we're we'll attach the accelerator this is a little wire to keep it from popping out. Very simple. Because they will pop out and you gotta stop and readjust this. Next is the fuel line. Slide right on top of here. And then we have the circle clamp. Just uses a red handle. but don't tear the hose and then this is the choke line it can well, this goes right here actually it goes on the bottom one there we go. and then up here 
to there, like that. Let me kind of straighten out. See that's working fine. And then last is this, which is the timing. And this is to keep it running good. And once you hook it up, you want to adjust to the full one and a half turns. And that should work out to start it up. And that's how you put a Model T carburetor back to the engine. We'll see if it works.